Might want to wanna reverse that. Yeah? Yeah. Usually in this matchup, Peach is going to be the one trying to put out the combo. Wolf will be able to put up damage like like Wolf does. Mm. But at the same time, Wolf is going to be the one that's forcing Peach to approach. Because uh, Wolf, definitely combo food for Peach. Uh, you know, yeah, and uh, turnips are a great edge guarding tool against a character like Wolf. Yeah, that's true, that's true. When I look at it like that, I, I'm starting to think that. Uh, I mean, it's, it's still going to be a good match, but we're going to see K9 slow the match down and try and set the, the game at his pace instead of Razo uh, trying to really break the defensive mold with, uh, with forward airs. And I have seen K9 definitely is no stranger or hesitant at all to just go off stage and start bodying you know, try to throw out those nares or whatever he really has to do to take you out. Yeah, we'll probably see a couple or a little bit of that play from K9 just because that's ingrained in his blood. But uh, as far as it being as offensive as normal, he's going to be a little bit more reserved because Razo is does have air access to the Peach Bomber or the Daisy Bomber. He doesn't have access to Float. Uh, which can just stall out any edge guard attempt that, that K9 puts out. Unfortunate for K9, he did the wrong air dodge. Yeah. Ooh, very nice. Okay, yeah, he wasn't able to get the, the stitch to hit her. That would have been clip worthy. Oh, he tried to dash back into up smash, but Razo caught the caught him with a down tilt. But as you can see, like just one hit converts easily into 76%. This is what I was talking about. Combo food for the princess. It's true, it's true. Look at this. And you know, K9's, he's starting to lose that uh, that patient edge he had. And there's oh, another oh, one. Oh, okay. Okay, very good, very good. No, what keep it. Don't do it. Yeah, I was gonna he's say. just a boy. Oh, he is holding on to it. Yeah. I really thought he was going to throw it away, too. Ooh, yo, you see how that fair interacted with oh, the Saturn? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Miss him, boy. boy like that. Dang, good up airs here. Oh, wow. How upsetting. Just losing his backer to that forward air. K9 is able to put out the damage. We got Razo to 67%. Nice. Yeah, Porter taking that one out for sure. It was also great pressure from the, from the turnips. Yeah. Ooh, okay, down smash, swiping him out. And this is the part where K9, uh, yeah, see, this is the last thing he wanted. I feel like K9 was starting to run away so he could establish like the laser. Exactly. Just trying to get himself in the neutral so that he can start going again when he wants to. Forward tilt. Such a good anti air tilt from uh, Peach. Amazing. Excuse me. We really don't see too many forward tilts come out from those players. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's more going to be about the, the cross ups, especially with low can having access to low cancel and then having uh, low cancel on lock like Roger does. Yeah. It's going to make you, you can just smother your opponent. <laughs> I feel like both of these characters are really good at crossing up. Like, uh, how can I just try to do now? But he ended up getting a nice nair anyway. Uh, they, these characters both have great nairs. So they can be right behind you before you know it. Well, this is going to be our first best of five tonight. Nice. So we have a few games, at least, with these players. That was a smart recovery, too. I like that a lot. Okay, ooh, hitting him with the disjoint and the laser, too. Yeah, kicking Raza right in the face. Yeah, it's definitely the time for K9 to start. Okay, the dash grab. He needed that dash grab to just continue to keep K9 off stage. You look at the amount of damage he was Raza was able to do to K9 by just forcing K9 to continuously uh, recover. Raza. Oh, okay, I feel like both of these players are no trying to grab each other. Yeah, not no quite yet. Not quite yet. I feel like he's trying to not stale it, but once again, I feel like uh, staling it really doesn't matter at this point. In center stage, yes. This know. should be it. That, that should be it. Yeah. Oh, All right. Goodness, yeah, and all that rage too, yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. And I feel like. K9 has to be really on top of his game when he's recovering. When you have those radishes and those turnips just being thrown at you day by day by day, it's, it's going to be really hard for a character like Wolf. Uh, you know, let me ask you this. Up B. Does Up B terminate the, the turnips? Does it does it nullify them? Wolf's Up B? Yeah, does he just get hit by it? I feel like the last hit would probably do a little bit of something. But, uh, no, I think he just loses. Yeah. It's likely. I, if anything, I could see the last hit of up B ex being extended, like the hitbox of it being extended by a turn. But that's 
probably not a position you want to be in in the first place. Yeah, okay. Well, able to pick up the turn up with a dash attack. Ooh. Jumping right into game two on, on a smash hit. Mm. Opting to go for an S smash instead of the... Usually with these wolves go for down smash, especially around the ledges. Mm. Tip or a down smash, especially if you're at like 40 or 50 percent. And ill. Ooh, that whiff. Dash grab. Yeah, look at all this hurt that K9's about to accrue. Okay, Raza being very wary of the laser. Still getting hit by one, though. And K9 not being incredibly aggressive, too. I mean, uh, Raza was just sitting at the ledge there, too. And uh, K9 didn't really... Ooh, oh, okay. So okay. he was able to absorb it. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, okay. Down smash completely with him. He's in the shine. Woo! Uh... Well, yeah. the, the gun, the blaster is a very good tool for spacing, but when you have opponents who are able to just go around it, uh, it does put you in a good amount of lag, so you're, you are very vulnerable. I feel like I just blinked my eyes and K9 was already at 50, and then he just got hit two more times, and now he's almost at 80. A lot of, I'd say a majority of the casters have high damage output, which is a, you know, a, gr a good thing. Well, that's what you want to Oh, yeah. And I like that we have three stocks now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, back throw, not quite killing yet. But this is definitely edge guarding time. No, the attack. Oh, yeah, he attacked it. Yeah. Woo! He'll make it back, but that Edsel comes out very fast. Roswell's not going to be able to survive the third time. And that is one thing that Wolf has uh, against Peach. Wolf has disjoints. Like up the wazoo. I mean, yeah, he has the disjoint with, like, fair. Uh, but I mean, Roswell also has one. Yeah. The forward air is just as strong as not strong. Mm -hmm. I mean, Brazos is like a better kill tool, while K9 is a, a better combo tool. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Okay, and yeah, we're back in the neutral here. I feel like Brazos. Oh, okay. Just gonna get grabbed at this point. Oh, with the flow cancel into forward air. Wow, that was so quick. Yeah, you've been weaving around the blaster. I mean, that's exactly what uh, K9 was not expecting. To think that he almost died, uh, that Nair almost killed K9. Yeah, that up smash almost killed Razo. Mm -hmm. But fortunately for Razo, you know, he's still a still is stuck in the game, but messing up his second jump. Mm -hmm. You know, it looked like Razo was really confident about the way that he was recovering, too, but then... Uh, I mean, we're all, we're all human. Yes, we are. RNGs is given. RNGs is taken. Took that stock. <laughs> You don't need this right now. You're up a whole stock. You're gonna donate this stock. <laughs> Be nice to K9. Okay, now K9 just. Well, I hope that I hope that input error didn't mess with Roger too much. He, he took over uh, over 100 damage just trying to recover to the stage. Mm. Okay. Yeah, and Roger kind of uh, spending a few frames to throw that turn up, and really no avail there. I like the patient play from K9. He knows that Razo looking for his opening. In fact, he's trying to stay within a certain range so that he actually makes K9 uncomfortable with using his blaster. Mm -hmm. Ooh, wow. wow, that was really cool. That wasn't even like the sweet spot or anything. He just, I feel like he got clipped and he just flew off. He just like swam in. Uh, you know, like you were saying before, he was really doing a great job at just completely staying out of Razo's bubble. Yeah, he was just completely jumping around, just just keeping his eyes on his wall. But at the same time, Raza was keeping a distance where it would uh, essentially put K9 in the danger zone. You can't throw any laggy options, mm. uh, and you have to be uh, aware of your opponent, Raza. Uh, otherwise, he would just you know take you to combo town. Yeah. All right, uh, two games for K9. All right, let's see if uh, Razo's gonna be able to adapt. I mean, the, the last game wasn't really too far off. It wasn't, but it was definitely in K9's control. Mm -hmm. And if outside of outside of that one, uh, actually, Razo had control up until the SD on his second stock, and then all momentum was lost. That was unfortunate. Right now, I see just space battle, just to see how we can. Uh, you know, maximize the range of our attacks here. Losing the stitch, too. That's okay, I'm sure we'll get like five more in this game. The night's young. Okay, getting the Peach Bomber back. Okay, teching the grab, too. Okay. Getting back to stage, but a good pivot grab from Razo will result in, uh, in these ledge traps. Oh, but 
That had to have been a nair. Okay. And you know the range of that backer is really deceiving. I like the way that Roger's throwing up. He's actually covering the roll option, the way he's facing uh, the turnout. And then he's using down air in case. Like to pressure while K9 is still on the ledge. And then even if he does neutral get up or if his invincibility runs out, he's going to get clipped. Woo! Some narrow escapes until that down smash clips. Okay. Kept the jump and he's living. Uh, and see another forward or down throw. Mm -hmm. Just maintaining the, the ledge trap. Oh, he was trying to do it that time too, but he ended up getting uh, the booty bump in the face. Using the the fire wolf to uh, stall out very smart instead of just falling right to the ledge where you knew Raza was going to be throwing out turnips. That peach, uh, that mm, easy that dash attack was really safe too. <laughs> I love that recovery too. Absolutely adore it. Yeah, I mean, going underneath the stage, good tool. We had a Good stall tool for, for Razo because now K9 is not going to be able to be aggressive with his invincibility. Yeah, that was a good idea. Okay, good grab as well. Down throw in the back air. That's actually pretty scary for Razo. He had no fear there. He grabbed K9 out of the startup of his up smash. Yeah, he seems to be uh, connecting a lot of throw grabs. Oh my god, just catching that up smash. Yeah, he's getting a little too handsy. Probably going for another grab. He, he did go for another grab, but the up smash animation actually made him whip. <laughs> yeah, it kind of just sucks you in, doesn't it? And grabs have a, a lot less safe in this game than they have been in like, previous iterations. Um, so, a lot easier to get punished. That was, a, that was really fortunate that Raza did not get punished uh, that hard, because he did the, the Peach Bomb, and then he was able to Nair, and he didn't really get punished off of that. Oh, <laughs> just narrowly avoiding the shine too, hitting him with that radish. That's why I like that Razo, even though K9 brings out the shine and holds it for like almost a complete second, he'll still throw the turn up uh, at, at a specific distance because even if it does get uh, sent right back at him, he has enough time to shield it. And if he if K9 drops shield, then you know he gets the free damage. Yeah. Ooh, nice there, killing him too. Okay. Oh, wow, and Razo doing the little tomahawk there. Got another stitch, that's stitch number two. Dropping with the fair, doesn't find it, but we're gonna see a few more fairs coming from Razo. None of them connecting yet, and the patient game from K9 is very strong. Yeah, I was gonna say, Razo's doing a really good job at avoiding damage, and then he got one fair, and then that connected to a couple more. Oh, and a couple more fairs come out. Oh, speaking of fair, taking that one. Yeah. Uh, good read from Razo. K9 has been jumping a lot, um, especially like in these defensive positions. Razo doing what he can to keep this position on the stage. Oh, he just narrowly lost it too, and he got clipped by that mare. Down tilt into down air. Ooh, that is a clean combo. I like the look of that. Wow, even went for the lead trap. He got these like mid percents too. Like, Typically, we see players like save the ledge jump option uh, for when their opponent's at a higher percent so they can use it to get the kill and possibly the set. We didn't see that from Razo. He's just making it very known that K9 cannot sit at that ledge. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. I like how we still challenge the forward smash anyway, even though it was pretty safe. Oh, dropping down with the forward air. Now that, oh, we're going to see a back throw? Possibly. That's what I thought. Yep. Oh, okay, okay, not throwing it directly. Oh, that was such good accuracy, too. All right, what are we gonna see? This is definitely Razo's time. Little hop, cross up, back air. Oh, you know, when you're throwing out those back airs knowing how safe they are, if I were Razo, I would have felt safe about doing all that, too. But getting crossed up like that and getting hit with the back air from K9 zone? Oh. I mean, it, it is a great option, but it you are vulnerable. Mm -hmm. I you mean, are. you have access to those flow cancels. They're very fast. They apply pressure. But at the same time, you know, you don't 